Hey, John, is today supposed to be Gary's first day? Yeah, his first day is today. I told him to plan on starting at 9 a.m., so I mean, he should be here in, I don't know, probably 10 minutes or so. Cool. I'm really looking forward to meeting him. I'm glad to hear that, Napa, because believe it or not, I think the two of you are going to get along really well. Hey, Gary, it's John. Um, we, we talked about you starting your first day at 9 a.m. It is 9.17 now. I uh, haven't seen you or heard from you. Just wanted to check in and make sure everything was all right. Uh, give me a call back or text me. Let me know your ETA. All right. Talk to you soon, man. Bye. Where are you? Are you okay? What's your ETA? Look, John, girls do this to me all the time, okay? You're supposed to meet at 9, now it's 9.45, they haven't responded to your calls or your texts or anything. I would say if you don't have a response from Gary in the next half hour, 45 minutes, it's time to accept that maybe he's not going to show up. <sighs> Napa, that's not the situation, man. I I'm not some rando that Gary met on, on, a, on a dating app, all right? I'm someone he knows in real life and has known for 300 and something years. He signed a job offer. Why wouldn't he show up? It's probably because Gary just thinks you seem like a really nice guy. You should try being meaner. Seem like a really nice... Napa, I don't know how you haven't noticed, but I'm not a nice guy. See, you think that, but you're probably wrong. I think I'm not a nice guy either. But what they always tell me is, hey, Napa, sorry. You seem like a really nice guy, but I changed my mind. This is in no way related to your struggles to get a date, okay? It's not like Gary has an app full of other jobs he can match with. This is his option. You can think whatever you want, John, but just remember, denial ain't just a river in Egypt. Hey, Gary, it's John. It is 11.33 a.m. You just had over two and a half hours late for your first day. I, I got to mark this as a no call, no show, man, which is not the way you want to start a new job. If you can just get a hold of me and explain what's going on. I really want to believe you're not blowing me off here. Okay. I'm hoping that, you know, there's a vampire hunter chasing you and you lost your phone or, you know, some other sort of emergency and you can explain the whole thing and I can wipe the slate clean. We can start again tomorrow. Um, I, I hope you're okay. I hope you're not laying in a ditch unconscious somewhere or with a stake in your heart. Um, but I really need some communication, man. Just give me a call, give me a text, something, okay? As soon as you can. Thanks. Napa, I need your help. Hell yeah! So you thought that voicemail you just left sounded too nice also, right? So I want to introduce you to a concept called negging. The next time you leave Gary a voicemail or you talk to him in person, I'm not asking for advice from one of your Art of Seduction books, okay? Oh, okay, so... What do you want me to do? I need you to take the afternoon off. I'll handle your calls. I want you to go fly around the city and the surrounding areas. See if you can find Gary. I mean, if, he, if he's laying, you know, if he's dead or laying unconscious somewhere, or, you know, I, I just need to know where he is. Okay. Any recommendations on where to start looking? I mean, his apartment's on the Upper East Side, so maybe start there? I, I don't... He's calling me right now. Hold on. Gary! Are you okay? Where have you been all? You haven't been working. You, you haven't been to the office yet. Expanding the registry? What? I, Gary? Have you been making new vampires all day? No, that's, that's not what the job... I explained the job to you over the phone last week, and then I sent you a freaking job description and offer letter that detailed everything. Why would you sign a job offer without reading it, man? I explained to you. This is managing the database and registry, not, not adding. Did you think I was hiring you to just walk around and make as many vampires as possible? 
with as picky as I am about who you turn and when and getting into the information, why would you think that? I want you to be in the office managing spreadsheets and databases of vampires, werewolves, zombies, and other creatures that turn people or other beings through touch or, or, or bite. That's what I explained to you, and that's what... What do you mean, oh? Not in... Do you want the job or not, Gary?